BBC Radio Cambridgeshire. It's a hot seat Q&A with the Greater Cambridge Partnership. This is the organisation behind plans to improve public transport in and out of the city of Cambridge, but also at the price of a congestion charge. Lots of questions from you, lots of calls. Uh, let's go to one now. This is uh, Neil Mackay from Mackay's on East Road. Hardware store has been there for many a year, for those who know it. Uh, Neil, good morning to you. Good morning, Jeremy. 110 years we've been there. My goodness. And you haven't been there for all of them, have you, Neil? No, I'm wearing, wearing quite well. <laughs> uh, your question for uh, Peter Blake and uh, Elisa Moschini this morning. Uh, I, I attended one of your presentations at the Abbey Stadium recently, and um, I spoke to the grandly named Growth and Strategy Manager, uh, who, who suggested that my suppliers could um, avoid the congestion charge by delivering at the weekend, um, uh, because you're proposing to charge them £50 per, per lorry. Um, a, that would block New Street with several, well, at least 40 lorries, and therefore can cause congestion. Um, honestly, this is uh, the most ridiculous um, uh, idea. Edinburgh had a, a referendum in 2005 they had 61% turnout, which is massive for a referendum, and 74% were against. They found an alternative way, and they funded their wonderful tram system. Uh, uh, that could be done in Cambridge. We could do it with a, with a uh, tourist tax, for instance, which is accepted. That would mean yeah, all, all, all your, um, as you were just saying, yeah, wonderful people from Italy could actually pay to fund our, uh, our new bus system. There's, um, we had a massive turnout at, uh, on Parker's Peace, absolutely huge, and we had MPs and councillors there speaking, uh, and a huge, that, that was just the tip of the iceberg of public feeling against this. Um, basically, the, the, um, the chair of uh, the, the, the GCP would appear to be like the captain of a ship who, who saw an iceberg and said, Full steam ahead. Well, let's let's bring in Elisa Moschini. Well, let's bring in Elisa to, to respond to that. Thank you, Moschini. Neil. It's very nice to hear from you. Um, I don't see. I mean, it's everything is up for consultation, and this is you know I'm not trying to captain the ship into anything. We're just trying to get views on board now, and what we get, we will work with. In terms of the tourist tax, I mean, it's been brought up. To me, um, I would have to look into, you know, I can only do what the local authority powers allow us to do. I can't make central government tax people um, because they don't listen to me, I don't think. Also, there is very little to show that the congestion we're experiencing at peak time in the city area, which is not the inner ring road, but the city area, there is very little evidence to show that that is caused by Italians. Well, let's, let's talk about the deliveries outside of the the, con the uh, congestion charge out of 7 to 7, Peter. So, well, th th this, is a, this is a big issue. This is a tough issue. So we're trying to deal with congestion that's growing with air quality and, 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 and with climate. We know that f only 40% of, of our uh, emissions are coming from, from transport. So there's no easy solution to this. We're trying to say that there are a number of things we need to do. We need better public transport. We need better walking and cycling facilities. And we need to manage a reduction in vehicles. And we've put that all out for, for, for consultation. And we've but we, we also don't want to create a ghost town where we don't have the independent retailers yeah. who can't operate because they can't get deliveries that's until why we've night. put it out for consultation, Jerry. And we've, and we've not just said yes or no, what do you think? We've, we've given a whole host of opportunity for people to say, well, no, actually, maybe I don't like the times if you tweak the times, or I don't like the boundary, or, or some of the, the opportunities around public transport are great, but I'd like you to go further. So we're asking for people's views, and, and I think you know we've generated a discussion, we've generated a discussion on, on, on your show, we've certainly generated a discussion across Greater Cambridge. We're looking for forward to you know concluding continuing and then concluding the um, the consultation and then we can review what people have said well let's go to the, the point uh, the example gives of edinburgh neil there in 2005 people turned out in mass on the consultation in the majority and said they didn't want it a little bit like he's saying there was a you know a protest on parker's piece recently uh, they turned the situation around and got a first rate tram system could that is that a situation that could happen here in cambridge well i mean they, or they, have we they, gone too far down this congestion charge route well, no, we're consulting, aren't we? 
and we're part way through through consultations i'm not going to speculate on what might or might happen next part way through a consultation that would be an inappropriate of the highest order wouldn't it we need to get through the 10 weeks we need to review what people have said and then decide on what happens next interesting the the edinburgh example of course of course the money came from somewhere else the money came from the the scottish government um we've previously looked at, at mass transit options in this uh, in this area they weren't affordable and they weren't deliverable uh, at the time um so we need you know we need to come up with solutions to deal with our challenges today you were given 500 million in the city deal from the government is that not enough to put in a tram system it's not enough to anywhere near enough to put in a tram system um and we're working on uh, busway proposals on greenway mm -hmm. cycleway proposals and other things that will happen extensions to park and rides that are happening anyway but our challenge is enormous and so that's why we're going through the consultation so it's important we go through the consultation and then we review neil, <laughs> sorry uh, neil thank you very much indeed uh, for your question uh, we must move on because we've got so many i need to be fair to all of our listeners and, and get through as many as we can uh